Hey guys, Selena here from PlayToEarn.net. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you might have noticed that a lot of blockchain games choose to focus on one network only, while there are also a handful that choose to build on multiple chains. An advantage of building cross-chain is you get users from different networks, similar to how games building on multiple platforms work. Here are the top five blockchain games building cross-chain right now. The first game on our list is Alien Worlds. Alien Worlds is a space-themed DeFi card game being built on multiple blockchains. Alien Worlds is a metaverse game that runs on Ethereum, Binance, Smart Chain, and Wax. You can mine, battle, and govern in a sci-fi world using NFTs and DAOs. You can earn Trillium, the game's token, by mining on different planets, fighting other explorers, and voting for planetary councils. You can also trade NFTs and TLM on the Atomic Hub Marketplace, or teleport them between the three blockchains. The game has several planets, and each planet has its own environment, NFTs, and DAO. You can mine TLM on any planet by choosing a land parcel and clicking the mine button. The amount of TLM you can mine depends on your mining power, which is determined by your tool's stats and the planet's difficulty. You can also increase your mining power by staking TLM on the planet you're mining on. You can also battle other explorers in the Thunderdome arena. To enter the arena, you need to have at least one weapon equipped on your character. You can then choose an opponent or challenge a specific player. The battle outcome is based on your weapon stats and a random factor. The winner gets a portion of the loser's staked TLM as a reward. Another way to earn TLM is to participate in the governance of the planets. Each planet has its own DAO that decides how to distribute the planetary treasury. You can vote for the council members and proposals of each planet by staking TLM on them. The more TLM you stake, the more voting power you have. Dakoko, the developers of the game recently expanded its repertoire with the launch of Battlefleet Armageddon. It is a mobile auto battler that integrates with Alien Worlds. The Alien Worlds NFTs dictate the availability of different tiers of battleships for players. Players can construct fleets by selecting spaceships and upgrades, thus enabling them to engage in battles against other players or syndicates within the metaverse. For even more info, you can check our article. The next game on our list is Cornucopias. Cornucopias is an open world metaverse game being built on Ethereum, BNB, and Cardano. Cornucopias is a blockchain-based play-to-earn, build-to-earn, and learn-to-earn game where players can own land and other NFT-based assets that are tradable in a peer-to-peer -peer manner, all hosted in a fun and expanding metaverse. The Bubbleverse is split into a number of theme zones such as the Sullis and Esperanzo, where people of all ages can play a series of mini-games like racing and combat. Players can develop their skills as a trader, artisan, or adventurer, and can earn the Kopi token by playing the game. The more creative players can design their own items such as coffee tables, beds, and other household furnishings which can then be minted into an NFT. Crafting valuable items is essential for success in the game, developing specific skills to produce desirable products. The game combines gaming with real-world commerce and gives opportunities for traditional e-commerce companies to sell and promote their real-world brands, goods, and services. It also allows them to reach an audience they have potentially never had access to before. If you want to learn more about Cornucopias, you can check their website. Liking this list so far? Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel so you're always updated with games that you love. And now, let's get straight back to the list. The next game on our list is Block Lords. Block Lords is a strategy game being built on Immutable and Polygon. Block Lords is a player-driven grand strategy game by Medaking Studios, where you can rule, conquer, and grow with your own medieval hero. In this game, your decisions and skills shape the world and narrative. You can choose from several playstyles, including farming, fighting, resource management, and ruling, and forge your own destiny as your hero. From farmers, hunters, warriors, rulers, and everything in between, every hero in the game possesses unique stats and traits essential for battles, management, and resource gathering. All new players start as a farmer character by default. Block Lords has several game aspects that the game allows you to choose how you want to play, depending on your preferences and goals. You can focus on growing crops, hunting animals, or crafting items as a farmer. You can engage in combat, raids, or conquests as a warrior. Or you can oversee your territories, collect taxes, or build cities as a ruler. You can also mix and match these aspects to create your own unique experience. And since the game is powered by blockchain technology, it also has a player-powered economy, adding a layer of realism and complexity to resource management and economic strategies. The game is available to play on early access from the Epic Games Store. If you want to try it out for yourself or for even more info, you can check their website. The next game on our list is Crypto Royale. Crypto Royale is a casual battle royale blockchain game being built on Polygon, Avalanche, and Harmony. 
Crypto Royale is a fast-paced and fun game that lasts only 30 seconds per round. You play as a colorful circle that can move and boost with your mouse. Your goal is to survive and eliminate other players by colliding with them. Your blob has an HP bar. The higher your HP, the bigger your blob is, and when you are low on HP, you get smaller. The speed of your blob is also affected by your size, with smaller blobs being faster. Bumping your enemies also pushes back the lower HP blob. This is important because as the game goes on, the playing field gets smaller, hence the battle royale aspect of the game. If blobs are caught outside of the circle, they rapidly lose HP. The last player standing wins the round and earns Roy tokens, which are the native currency of the game. Roy tokens can be withdrawn and sold on the open market or used to buy skins and enter tournaments. Skins are not just cosmetic, they also give you passive income by earning more Roy tokens when you play as them or when other players use them. Skins also belong to clans, which are groups of players that compete for prizes and rankings. If you want to try Crypto Royal for yourself, just go to their website and start playing right away. And the last game on our list is Monstera. Monstera is a simulation strategy game being built on Avalanche, PNB, OKT, and Aura. Monstera is a free-to-play, play-to-earn strategy game where you can breed, battle, and trade magical creatures called Mongans as NFTs. You can also build your own kingdom, explore new lands, and join a guild with other players. Monstera has five races of Mongans, Tectos, Mystic Beast, Celest, and Chaos. Each race has its own strengths and weaknesses, as well as different appearances and personalities. You can create new combinations with rare traits and abilities by breeding different Mongans. They also have different rarities, ranging from common to legendary. Monstera has four battle modes, Adventure, Boss Challenge, Battlefront, and Arena. You can fight against wild beasts, powerful bosses, other players' lands, and head-to-head -head matches. You can also earn rewards and climb the leaderboard. Monstera has two in-game tokens, and the Stuar is the governance token that is used for voting, staking, and accessing premium features. Mag is the utility token that is used for breeding, upgrading, and trading Mongans. Both tokens have a limited supply and a burning mechanism that claims to increase their value over time. If you want to play Monstera, you can download their app on iOS or Android, or visit their website for more information. You can also join their social media channels to stay updated with their news and events. And that's a wrap for today's list of games. If you were looking for Web3 games building on multiple networks, then I hope this video helped. And for more info on everything about blockchain games, check out our website at playtoearn.net, where we have the largest database of games that have all the info you need. That's it for today. See you next video.